Hello and welcome to the best move. In today's video I will analyze an Onitama match for you, which was played on the first ever tournament on BoardGameArena.com. If you are not familiar with the game, please check out my rules explanation video. You can find the link in the description below. And let's get started. This is a game from the Onitama Today XXX1 tournament which was a Swiss tournament with 7 rounds and this game was played in the 7th round so the stakes are quite high and I have the white pieces and team piece has the black pieces. We should look at the cards first. We have two cards with diagonal moves in both directions and we also have the goose which is a single directional move card and we also have an ox which is a forward move card and a dragon which is a very special card it's a very special move set so it's always interesting to play against it i started the game with the mantis card from e1 to d2 and he responded with the goose card from b5 to c4 very natural developing moves in the beginning then i played with the monkey from a1 to b2 of course I try to hold the middle somehow with my pieces and he responded with the mantis card uh, from e5 to d4 after that I need to get this square somehow so I played the goose from d1 to c2 and he responded with the monkey from a5 to b4 I played the mantis from b1 to a2 and he played the goose from d5 to e4. So after four moves we have a symmetrical position and it's my turn to move and I have a very very nice move from a2 to b3 which I didn't play in the game unfortunately it would be very nice because after takes and takes and takes and takes we arrive to this position uh, which is in my opinion quite good for me maybe it's it's equal but i would be very very happy with this position this pawn is protected with the dragon uh, from this pawn so so it's it's all good but uh, for some reason i didn't play this my other option in this position was with the ox to move here um, but after that maybe a one continuation could be uh, with the mantis here and I can take and he can take and this is quite sketchy so I didn't really like this one so I played a very passive move with the monkey back to b1 which is an undeveloping move also I lose a tempo with this so so I'm not very happy with that move but for some reason I didn't see that um, b3 is up for grabs it is what it is the game continues and of course he plays a very active move with the mantis to e3 and uh, I, I don't really have a, a good reply there so I just move back to a2 so you can see that I lost two moves with this shuffling and uh, he has a very active pawn there on e3 after my a2 move he played with the monkey to d4 he activated his master it seems quite dangerous to me but we'll see and I played with the mantis to a3 which is an odd move to play because I abandoned the c3 c3 square sorry but I have an idea and let's see how it unfolds he took with the dragon on a3 but I didn't take it back I took with the monkey to e3 and I covered this square with the dragon and I covered that square with the dragon too so this this c2 pawn is actually very useful for me at the moment and uh, of course uh, this a3 square is attacked two times with the ox and the dragon so he has to go back with the pawn and uh, after that move I play with the ox from a2 to b2 I want to regroup my pieces and also this comes with check because the master is on d4 and I have the mantis now so this is quite scary situation he has to fall back and uh, he falls back with the goose actually to c5 
now it's my turn to activate my master. I go from C1 to D2 with the help of the Mantis. In this position, Timpis found a nice tactic. He took with the Ox on C3, on E3, sorry, and I took back with the Dragon. Of course, I need to. And here he played with the Mantis to C3, and now this pawn is defended by the A4 pawn and the Dragon. And my master is in check, so this seems to be quite terrible for me actually. Uh, I play the best move here, which is the Ox from D2 to D3. And it seems like this pawn is now undefended and it is free for grabs. But was it really undefended? That's your question to answer. Pause the video and find the best move for white in this position. I give you a few seconds. I hope you all found the move. Congratulations to everybody who found it. It is actually with the Mantis card to D4. This comes with check and if you analyze the position, you can see that the master doesn't really have too many squares to move to. This is covered with the monkey and with the goose actually. And this is covered too. So the only possible move for the black master is with the ox to B5. And after that I play with the goose to C4. This is again a check and now the master has nowhere to go. He actually took my pawn on C4 and I took back with my master and I won the game in the way of stone. So that was the game, I really hope you enjoyed it. We both made a few mistakes, but, but it's always okay. And uh, this was the first ever tournament on Board Game Arena, so of course the level of play was not really, really high. I prepared the tournament results for you, so here you can see the results. F Hanker won the tournament with 7 wins out of 7. Amazing performance by him as always, he's the top 1 player of all time in Onitama on board game arena so for sure we will see a few games from him second place was luckily six out of seven he only lost to f hanker and with five wins we have tabaskov gellerth most broken loadout and myself zanaserze but actually what is very nice about this tournament is that uh, we had 32 players and everybody had at least one win that's it for today Thank you very much for watching and see you soon in the next video. Goodbye!